superintendent here in Christina School District. I know my responsibility is to take care of the teachers and take care of our staff and take care of our leaders. Um, but I also pledge to take care of these children. And I am just so grateful that you brought one of my visions to life. So thank you so much. But I really think the love goes to you, but I appreciate all that you've done. Thank you. And thank you for your opportunity. I appreciate it. Dr. Selman. This is the principal. This is the man that's running things over in New York High School. Look at him walking with the power. Thank you. You know. We, we come to work every day, and we work so hard on behalf of the children and the families that we serve. And so often, we feel as though the work that we do falls short. Thank you for allowing us to reach as far as we possibly can to touch these girls in a way that we are not able to, to wrap our arms around them, to show them and embrace them with love, to let them know how much we care about them and how accepted they are. You are our gift. We're thankful for you, and we are thankful for each of you. Thank you. Darren Tyson. I wasn't expecting this, I'm gonna bust my seat in the head after this, but let me just be real. Um, I seen a need in our building, and I reached out to Dr. Joyner. Me and Dr. Joyner go way back, we're from the same neighborhood, and we always try to envision where we grew up, where the village raised a child. So I reached out to her, she said, Tyson, I got somebody for you. I said, I can't help all these girls, they keep calling me uncle. <laughs> keep calling me dad, I'm trying to help them, but I can't help with this. Some of these things they come to me with. She said, I got you. I got the, want the one young lady that'll change everything. And when Miss Seaton came over, I was just like, stop talking. <laughs> come on, let's go talk to the principal. I don't need to hear anymore because I can see the genuine love that she had inside and what she was trying to bring. And I just know that God is all in her, because God's all in me. And it just shone, shined through. So, some of these girls, I'm going to be honest with you, they didn't even get along. You put them in a the room, they will be fighting one another. Let's see them for all that down, take up all those barriers down for all these young ladies. And say, no, you are all the same. You just got to learn how to love one another. And, it, and believe me, you can see a change in a lot of them. You can see the change in their grades. And I've already, you know, I want her back next year. And we just have to work. It's just been an honor. I want to say thanks, Dr. Joyner. Thanks, Dr. Sullivan, for giving her the opportunity to come into the building and help our young ladies. And young ladies, keep striving to be the best you can possibly be. Because the only person that's going to stop you is you. Yes. Be who you can be. We all came from, I came from nothing. I never had no dad. I don't know what a dad is, but I was the best dad to my three sons. <laughs> Don't let anybody tell you that you can't get there, because you can. I'm a perfect example of it. Dr. Jordan is a perfect example of it. From the same neighborhood, came up the same way. Perfect examples of people who made it out of the hood by believing in themselves and putting themselves first and, and studying. There ain't nothing wrong with studying. Being cool is okay. Being smart is okay. <laughs> so, my girl Desi back. So that's just the showing of the God in her. I'm just so happy that she shared that with you guys, and hopefully we can keep this going. Beautiful words, beautiful.